Hey guys, got another review coming to you today, and it is something. But first, let's go back in time. Um, first, to Nintendo. Nintendo are obviously great people at making handheld gaming consoles. So, we start with the b black and white generation. Of course, this is a pocket. Um, great console back in the day. Uh, very, very small. I don't know a review on this, I think, anyway. Uh, but yeah, there is the Game Boy Pocket. So, uh, next moving on to the Advanced Era. Uh, Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance. Um, great console, although the screen was absolute crap. Um, yes. And then we moved on to the DS Era. And this monstrosity. Look at it. It's it's ugly, basically. Uh, what were they thinking? Anyway, um, then of course they moved on to a bit of a smaller and lighter, lovely version, the DS Lite. I'm sorry for the stickers. Yes, that's slightly embarrassing. Oh god, I'm 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 depressed now. Um, yes, and then we move on to the newest generation for getting the DSi because that I haven't got one of those anymore. <laughs> we move on. To the 3DS. So, here it is, the 3DS, finally come out after months. Actually, no, for me, days of waiting because I really wasn't interested. <laughs> um, no, here it is, the 3DS um, came out Friday in the U of K, and in the US of A, it came out Sunday, which was yesterday. Um, so, yes, as you can see, it is lovely. Um, let's give it a size comparison here um, with the DS. Okay, look at this, we're getting lined up here. Um, as you can possibly tell, uh, the 3DS is smaller, it's definitely lower, um, and the screens, and let's see the screens. Um, so we get a good shot here in the, in the light. Uh, yeah, the sc bottom screen is definitely bigger. Um, the bottom screen is bigger, actually it's probably about the same, bottom screen on the, D uh, on the 3DS is probably the same size as the original DS. Um, so let's move this over here and then let's put it up up against the DS Lite um, which we have here got open. Thank you. Um, which is here and um, yeah they're actually very very similar uh, I think. Uh, let's put this, yeah they're exactly the same I would have said. Same screen size uh, apart from obviously the top one on here um, but yeah uh, very very similar. Put them on top of one another yeah, almost exactly the same. Uh, so yes, it's light already. Uh, so normally they obviously bring out the first of a generation. Of course, they brought out the original Game Boy and then, of course, this smaller version came out. Then, of course, they brought out the Game Boy Advance and the smaller Game Boy Advance SP came out. Then, of course, they brought out this monstrosity and then the DS Lite came out. So, what are they going to do with something that's already awesome? 3DS Lite? I don't see it happening. Ah, you heard it here first. But yes, move these out of the way. They're getting in shot. That's not good. And there's a mouse. I sent my cat on it. All right. <laughs> so here it is, the 3DS. Um, oh, you've got your gubbins on here. Oh, what, do, what do you do with it and where do you shove it, basically? It's, it's all the information you already know and love to hate um, if it focuses, which is not going to. Focus. Focus. Focus, don't then. All right, um, <laughs> you've got two cameras on top here, um, and of course you've got your. What a weird place is that to put an earphone jack? That is odd. Why there? But yes, uh, and then of course you've got a little tiny lights here with what how much charge you've got and how much power you have. Um, power. Um, <laughs> you've got your SD card slot here, um, and. Nintendo were nice enough people to give you a 2 gigabyte Toshiba SD card. Well done. You're actually thinking. Well done. Um, volume uh, is down and up. It's, it's, it's a little rocker. Uh, not, no, it's not a rocker. I'm sorry. It's a slider, not a rocker anymore. It was a rocker. Um, and you've got your little R1 and L1 buttons. Uh, you've got your... Basically, that's exactly this, as the DSi and DSi XL. Um, that, that fitting, I'm sure, is exactly the same. Um, so if you have a charger for one of those, it should work in theory. Don't don't hold me to it. Um, and you've got your little stylus of doom um, in here. It's a telescopic one. It is, isn't it awesome? Aha! It goes in and out. It looks like he's stabbing someone. 
in it goes you know um so that's that awesome um where did, where did it go it goes in i'll just throw it over here anyway all right um so yeah there it is and uh, inside what do we have um, let's let it focus a minute street fighter 4 3d edition um i bought that that's the game i, I got with it i wanted to buy with it i'm hopefully picking up pilot wings and um Ridge Racer or something with it soon. I'm going to pick those up online. Um, so yes, it cost me 40 quid for Street for Street Fighter in Game Station. Bit of a rip off, seeing as they're going for like 29 on Amazon. Uh, so let's look at the inside of the device. Um, you have, of course, your big main widescreen screen. You've got your touch screen. Um, some horrible clicky buttons. Yeah, they're 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 cheap. I don't like them. Uh, I thought they were going to be like touch sensitive, like the PS3 power button, or the old PS3, but they're not. They're just like, you have to click on them. It's, it's very awkward while playing to hit start it's in a game like Pokemon or something. Um, so not the best. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, analog nub, that's a new feature right there. Uh, yeah, it works. It works okay. Uh, it, it's it's nice. I don't personally use it. I use the D-pad. Um, I, I can't help it. I, I love the D-pad on any device. Um, and of course you've got your um, uh, Y, X, A, B, or you know, all your buttons um, for your console. And you've got your power button. I was used to there being a little slider up here you turn it on with, but there isn't any more. But annoyingly the Wi-Fi switch is right there. So the first thing I did was slide on Wi-Fi. Yeah, idiot. Um, so yes, and there's a little camera there. Uh, don't bother actually getting really good photos out of them, seeing as they're only like 0.3 of a megapixel. They're terrible cameras. They're the same cameras that are on the DSi and all that. Um, not nice at all. So let's turn this bad boy on. I turned it down, didn't I? Wow, there you go, I'll get a zoomed in view of this. Um, so let's go right to the start. So I've got the 3D turned off right now. Um, if you turn it on, this happens. Yeah, it's all liney on the screen, not very nice. But I, I can see it in 3D right now, um, so yes. Uh, internet, I've taken 251 steps. It's got a pedometer built straight in. Uh, you've, got, you've got your camera, which is 3D. Um, and you have your bottom screen, which of course is touch, uh, like usual. Um, let's let's go. Let's look around here. I'll use the analog stick. Uh, 3DS camera. Uh, you kind of get with it. Basically, it's a 3D camera. It's really good, actually. I, I, I've had some fun with it. Um, and there's a little bird who tells you stuff. He's really interesting, actually, because he always comes out with new stuff. He doesn't repeat himself, from what I've found, anyway. Uh, now, I, I put some music on here. Um, sorry about that put my hand in the way there um, and it takes mp3 files so you just get the SD card and make a folder called music or mp3 and you can like I got music right there so let's click on that um, uh, let's get you up a bit there you go all uh, right let's click on that uh, linger in shadows main theme minecraft ost uh, mining class moonlight snatch the thing is the speakers on this thing are terrible they aren't like the nicest of speakers they're, they're really quiet um, and let's, let's go for um, Moonlight Sonata. See if you can hear that. Uh, and then uh, here you have um, basically a kind of um, it, an equalizer. It's not an equalizer, but it's one of those kind of things that moves while the music moves, if you know what I mean. So down here you've got quite a few different features. Uh, you pull this little cord and it changes. This, well, I don't even know what that one really is. Um, that's an old Game & Watch game. Uh, now this one's really cool, actually. I like this one. Uh, let's just pause that a minute. This one is actually, it tells you... Actually, I need to hit play for that to work. Um, it tells you, that little blue, blue box there is how long it will take for the song to finish. So it shows you what time it is right now. And it shows you when that song will finish. That is great. That's a really neat idea. But it's kind of hidden away. Um, unfortunately. These are pictures that have been taken with it. Um, uh, as you can see. They're not the best. But I'll kind of show you those um, afterwards. Um, so that's that's all that. Um, 
that's 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 basically the sound thing it's, it's quite good but you have to use headphones with it definitely i think uh, you can't really use it on its own well, home button now kind of brings you out uh, and kind of suspends the action um, so you can kind of go to your friends list and do stuff on there and add people and it will still be running in the background which i think is pretty cool uh, although if you try going on anything else it will stop as ashton's pointed out in his review earlier um that i watched <laughs> um so uh, yes, go watch him, by the way, he's awesome. Uh, Face Raiders, now this is probably the my favourite game on here right now, it's, it is brilliant. Um, so let's, I, I, I won't be able to play the game uh, right now, obviously, um, but I can kind of show you what it's all about. Uh, hello there. Um, yes. Face Raiders. There's me. It, it, see, actually, the camera was trying to pick up my face right there. Um, it's got face recognition on my camera. Uh, that is actually me. And you can see me doing pulling crazy faces. I actually wasn't pulling crazy faces. You kind of line up your face, and it will then kind of contort your face. It's really neat how it does it. Um, but basically, it's Space Invaders. I mean, I didn't do that. That's pretty cool. Um, basically, it's Space Invaders. Um, and you basically shoot shoot your your face down, or, or your friends. Um, so you kind of go into little little modes and stuff. This comes with the 3DS, by the way. So if you didn't know that already, uh, I've got a face collection here. Um, these are faces that were taken. UFO has landed. You, UFO will abduct faces from the th Nintendo 3DS camera. That's not good. What's it doing? Don't take my faces. Thank you. All right. Um, so you can see there. Um, that, that's pretty neat. I like that. And that was that. But that was a towel of animal um, from uh, uh, what is it, Sesame Street or Muppets? Uh, I can never remember which. Um, so yeah, uh, that that's basically the faces. That is face raiders, and it's kind of a shoot 'em up. And you kind of have to point your 3DS all the way around the room, and it kind of it kind of integrates your room into the game. Really impressive. Um, go check out separate videos for that. I I can't personally do that and show you right now um, because obviously not exactly very easy in a, especially in a dark lit room um so yes that that is face raiders um next on the list is me straight me plaza street pass because this this thing has uh, street pass where basically you walk past someone and then it will take their information and send it to you so you can like gain new me's and stuff so that's your me maker yeah that's pretty cool uh basically it's the Wii one it's the Wii me maker it is exactly the same in every way um a pretty good job as well actually um because the wii one works uh, actually this one works way better i think it's better than the wii um just because it's easier to control uh me street plaza and let's start that yeah let's, let's, let's unsuspend the face raiders nintendo 3ds focusing come on all right uh so i've only got one character that is me Oh yes, that's me, Jamie Gray. There I am, with no glasses. I have to put some glasses on him at some point. Um, I thought actually this looks surprisingly like me. That's worrying. Uh, now this is what I really wonder. Uh, basically, you collect uh, people's me's by walking past them, and I think that's a really neat idea. But you can spend because uh, you walk, and you walk in real life, and it's a pedometer built in, and it will earn you. Um, coins so i think every every hundred steps is like one coin um so it it said i could buy a new character to fight because it's like games you can play so let's go in here um street pass quest really neat looking game basically because in rpg you have to save yourself with some heroes that you basically get from passing by people and then you can use them in battles um and i did this um <laughs> It's really neat. I, I like the look of this, and this has some promise. Seeing as it's free and like dug really deep into the system. I mean, not. I don't even know if many people know about this game. Um, but you have Street Pass Quest, and you click that, and then you hire a hero for two for two coins, and you will then come up. You'll come up to your first uh, first level, and there's a ghost, and it goes into like the RPG kind of Final Fantasy kind of um, take it in turns, based out of Pokemon as well. You, you take it in turns to fight. You do one attack, and then your character says, I'm fatigued, and then buggers off. It leaves. Yeah. It leaves. Leaving you with no coins and no way to play the game. 
what the hell? What were they thinking, basically? Because this is a really neat idea. Why didn't they actually make it into an RPG where you could be yourself and walk around? Why do you have to make it into some kind of... You have to, like, get millions of me's to be able to even play it properly. Because obviously one attack, literally one attack, you are fatigued and you walk off. You don't even, you don't even, you don't even die, you just leave. So, I'm getting too over uh, angry with this. It's, it's rude. Um, but I, I'm very annoyed with it. How dare it. Um, there is a puzzle game as well, but I've actually tried that. Because I, I wasted my two coins on a character in that quest thing. So, not very happy. Now let's leave this. I don't leave this game. Now, until I get some more coins. I'm going walking tomorrow, so I'll probably get loads of coins. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so let's leave that. Yeah, I'm left. Nope, leave. Leave. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, Me Maker. Yeah, we've seen that. Um, this is an activity log. Brilliant. Uh, it kind of tracks everything you do. Every game you're on, how long you're on it. Uh, and also tracks how many footsteps you've taken in a day. I mean, that's really neat. Uh, it's kind of growing on the Pokemon um, pedometer that um, Pokemon Silver and got no Soul Silver and um, Heart Gold had. So I'm thinking Nintendo kind of stole their tech, to be honest, um, or, or their idea. Um, so that's that. Um, now you've got download play, um, you've got system settings. Basically, this is your average stuff. Now, uh, I've noticed with a lot of the DSs, uh, the original DS had a horrible interface when you turned it on. Um, I can show you that in theory if I get my DS original out here. Let's move it out of the way. Um, yes, there is still power in this. And now, if you remember with these old ones, it turned on and it did turn on. It turned on. It turned on. Thank you. And then this kind of horrible interface. Back then it was pretty cool. I mean, you can see the lines on the screen right now. The camera's trying to pick up. The screen's horrible on it. Um, a really horrible looking clock and all this. And I, I, and if when you go into Picto Chat on the on the DSi, it basically took you back to the old hard, uh, ba basic old software from the original DS. Now I thought they had completely wiped that DS software out. No, they have not. Now I'll show, I'll show you this because um, this this kind of blew me away. They're actually still using that tech. Um, so go in here, uh, click on Download Play. And it comes up with a few options. Uh, no, on, let's, let's get out of the suspended. Things you can't close a game. You have to kind of suspend it and then open something else, um, annoyingly. Um, download play, okay. So you, you kind of probably, if you have a DS, you kind of attuned to this anyway. You know what this is all about. Um, so, 3DS game or DS game. Now, if you click on 3DS game, it will search and find nothing. But if you click on DS, Yeah, why is that back? It's horrible. So obviously they have not actually done as much as we think they've done. They've basically just put, put some nice fancy text and graphics over the old software. So yeah, not great. Thank you very much. Um, and also it says close this software instead of suspend it. So it can't even use it up as the same thing which is which is weird um but i want to quickly show you a few one two more things i want to show you a bit of street fire quickly just to see what the graphics look like um i'll probably do a review on this at some point um with i have to get i have to get some camera stand because i can't hold it for so long it's really hurt my hand holding it like this um uh, now the graphics in this game are brilliant um they they are I would, there's a Street Fighter game on um, on iPhone and iPod, uh, but this this is way better than that. Um, but I wouldn't have said it's, mm, yeah, okay, I would have said it's GameCube style graphics. I mean, it's it looks good. It looks, it, it does look good for a, for a handheld. Um, you've got your animation kind of thing here, we'll just skip that. Now, in, in the 3D version, you can actually see that black smoke going behind the text, and it looks really insane. Um, it looks really cool, uh, but let's start this up and let's show you a quick bit of fighting. I'm just going to randomly mash some buttons. Um, so this is kind of your main menu, arcade. Yeah, difficulty, yeah, very easy, go for it. Um,
Right, so if you can see down here, um, four buttons will appear and they are your moves. Fighting tournament. Let's skip this, um, we don't need to watch that. Um, yeah, first stage. The only thing that in Street Fighter that really annoys me is this bonus stages. I just wish it would just carry on with the arcade mode. Yep, Zangief. Alright, cool. Go for it. The answer lies in the heart of battle. I am the Red Cyclone! Right, so you can see down here, there are new things down here, so let's click that one, Hadouken, Hadouken, and it does it for you, which I think is insane, that's pretty good, let's see if we can beat him just by pressing these buttons, I know I look like a complete noob right now, but there you go, owned, I'm owning this guy, he's no match for me, oh yeah, KO with one finger, people, one finger, yeah, that's how much of a pro I really am. <laughs> no, but anyway, that that is that Street Fighter for you. Um, let's take this out, and of course, then it says uh, it, game was removed. Please press home. And then it will sit there for ages when it loads it. All right, okay. Let's just take this game out. Um, I want to quickly show you guys the DS games. Now, I'm going to rest you here, um, so you stay right there. I'll be back in a moment, because I'm an idiot and forgot to get the game. Um, where is the game? I've lost it. God damn it. Um, not very good reviewing material right now. I've lost the game. That's very annoying. Oh, I'll have to show you another game then. I was going to show you Pokemon, um, but as soon as I haven't got that, it's pretty hard. Um, so yes, I'll, I'll go with something a bit closer, Pokemon Heart Gold. Now, this of course is a original DS game. This is my only gripe with the system at the moment is, let's open this up um, and turn it over so we can put the game in. You put the game in, right, so it's in there as usual, and there it is. Pokemon Heart Gold is revolving around and it's appeared in my inventory. Now. You may not be able to see what I'm seeing on camera, but if you notice, the screen is not obviously full size to the screen. Um, it's, it ends about here and here, instead of obviously going to the ends. Um, this, this screen is obviously like normal, but the only thing I can say is, this, let's turn this down. Um, the resolution is absolutely terrible. Uh, I don't know what they've done, uh, but it looks bad. Uh, it, it's, don't know if you can really make that out or not, um, but believe me, in person, it just, the games just do not look as good. Um, they look like Game Boy Advance games. They just do not not look as good as they originally do. I mean, up here, it, it just doesn't look... If you know Pokemon, and you know the graphics, that just doesn't look as in your face and as colourful as it should. Um, I, I, I played this game plenty enough to know... Um, and I think that the DS games aren't going to look the best on here, um, they, they just don't. And I would definitely recommend just sticking with a DS Lite. If you're, if you're buying this just to play DS games, I would stick with a DSi or DS Lite. Um, DS Lite's perfect for DS games. Um, best console around to play them, to be honest. Um, but I really do not like DS games on here. Um, they just put me off in terms of quality. Um, so yeah, okay, uh, one more thing to mention is the battery life, um, it last, it will probably last you about four hours uh, at maximum charge if you're playing 3D and all the games and all that. Um, if you turned it off, probably get, probably get about eight, eight hours out of it, um, but I wouldn't, put my, I, wouldn't put, I wouldn't put a promise on that, um, but yeah, the battery life isn't as good, um, and I've had to charge it up since I've bought it um, quite a, twice, um, so yes. Um, okay, all right. Uh, so that's that's really the 3DS. Um, my verdict uh, is eight out of ten. Um, it has its flaws, um, but in in hindsight, it actually is impressive. The 3D is impressive. The internet is is way more easy to because uh, my internet connection's a WAP, 
um, or WEP or something. And, and my, my DSi XL did not like that internet connection, so it wouldn't connect, but this thing connected instantly, um, so that's great. Um, so yes, uh, the internet on this is better, I would have said. Uh, and it just, it looks nicer. So, graphics are better and everything else. I really would recommend picking one of these up if you're going to be wanting to obviously get um, Zelda um, that's coming out soon, or, or, or Ocarina of Time. Um, there's a driver game coming out in April, uh, which I'm definitely buying. Um, I, there may, there's obviously going to be a Pokemon game in at some point in the future. 3D Pokemon game, I cannot wait for that. Um, but, yeah, uh, I would definitely recommend this if, you, if you're thinking of buying some 3DS games. But if you're still on DS and you still, and you want to upgrade to the 3DS just to play DS games on a bigger screen, that's not going to work. Because um, the screens look slightly worse than they do on the DS Lite. So, um, that's all I can really say to you. Uh, thank you for watching my review. Um, I will uh, hopefully be doing another review of something soon. Um, so until then, that is me, out.